All right, everyone, it is March 14th, 2013. What a difference a day makes, or better yet, what a difference a night makes. Now, I want to assure you, I am on this 110%, and I have no involvement with the Catholic Church in any way, through family or any other means. There will be no smoke screen. I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to put it in your face. I'm going to tell you just like it is. Look at the uh, picture here of the new Pope, Francis I. Uh, he looks innocent enough. Well, believe me, he is a high Jesuit. The first Jesuit Pope, he's a high Jesuit. Going back to 1976, he was accused uh, of involvement in a kidnapping of two priests, two Jesuit priests, while he was still a Jesuit himself, but a high Jesuit. He was involved in the kidnapping of two priests who were found like five months later uh, half naked and drugged. Now, I'm going to come back. I'm going to stay with this today. And I'm just going to tell it like it is. Um, and it's not good. It is not good. It it's a strong possibility now after research and being up all night that the man you're looking at here could be Peter the Roman, Petrus, the Roma, Petrus Romanus. Let me bring you this story first for the day. Pope Francis kidnapping controversy. Bergoglio accused of involvement in 1976 abductions. Let me get some coffee. It's early. <laughs> Bear with me and I apologize. All right, the election of Pope Francis I, previously Cardinal uh, Bergoglio, has resurfaced a decade-old controversy surround the, surrounding the kidnappings of two Jesuit priests. you got to remember, he's a high Jesuit, and they control the Vatican. And his boss is the Black Pope. We're going to cover this today. Bergoglio was a high-ranking official in the Society of Jesus of Argentina, the Society of Jesus is the Jesuits, and he, at this time, in 1976, was a high-ranking official. We're going to come back, because I covered in another video a week or so ago, maybe longer, what exactly is in the Jesuit oath, and we're going to take another look at that. Um, Bergoglio was a high-ranking official in the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits of Argentina, when a military genre was installed in the South American country in 1976. According to the Los Angeles Times, priest Orlando Yorio and Francisco Jalix were kidnapped in May of that year by the Navy. They surfaced five months later drugged, drugged, and semi-nude in a field. The Times reported a 2005, not going to 2005, we're moving up, and that's not that long ago, a 2005 lawsuit accused Bergoglio of unspecified involvement in the abductions. Reuters explains that the military government secretly jailed Yorio and Jelix, I hope I'm pronouncing the second name right, for their work in poor neighborhoods. So they were jailed, abducted, kidnapped, and your new pope, who I believe just may be the false prophet, uh, was involved in the kidnapping only because these two uh, priests were working with the poor in poor neighborhoods. A spokesman for Bergoglio called the claims old slander. According to the silence, a book written by journalist Horikyo Verbitsky, Bergoglio, withdrew his border's protection of two men after they refused to quit visiting the slums, which ultimately paved the way for their capture. This is not a very nice man, to say the least. Verbitsky's book is based on statements by Orlando Yorio, one of the kidnapped Jesuits, before he died of natural causes in 2000. Both of the abducted clergymen survived five months of imprisonment I'm going to put the link to this for you uh, below. So he's involved in a 1976 kidnapping. He is a high Jesuit. All right, stay with my channel. 
Say, look at my channel today. No smoke screens. We're going to come back. We're going to take a look at the connection between Pope Francis the First and Peter the Roman. All right, everybody. Leave me comments.